or at least the new sequence. I don't like the back of the so Like explore. Laurent was perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. Did you just grab my bottom? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Inquisitor, did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Nothing that stands out. I doubt there's a single person here without ulterior motives. Do you have any advice? Orlesian well, social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know. They won't leave me alone. <laughs> I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. <laughs> Who do you think the Inquisition should support? Gaspard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlé needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. We'll talk later. I await your signal. Is it true the Inquisitor okay, was leader the of the Faith Okay, here we go. Uh oh! Oops. I goofed. I can't just jump out onto the ballroom floor. My bad. Let's just double check the map. We can't. We did not go in those rooms. What am I doing? What is Lady Pentecost wearing? Box from the other side. I mean, we don't want to miss Are out. Are you happy something. to see me at all, Josie? Lady Nightingale makes me nervous. Okay, enough. All right, Blood Crow, you have a good night, man. Happy New Year's, man. Happy New Year's. Commander Cullen. No, thank you. These women want... I still remember the day they came to these, tell these me... These women want Isaac. Cullen's... Maker. Yeah. They want a... They want a baby Cullen. That's what's going on there. They want a baby Cullen. Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Selene is from her side. Empress Selene is fascinated by mysticism. Foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor, an apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. You think she's controlling the minds of the court? That's powerful blood magic. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. 
Interesting, interesting. It is 4 a.m., my love. Whoa, what? Oh, we were in there. Hey, Cassandra. This ball is a waste of time, like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. Have you witnessed anything noteworthy? Nothing yet. I will let you know. You don't seem to care much for the ball. Orlesians pretend their petty squabbles are a game. Yes, let us treat murder, corruption, and deceit as delightful amusements. How wonderful. We are here to save Empress Feline, and it galls me. Why does she merit our protection? The Empire would be better off without her. Gaspard is the leader Olay needs in this crisis. You support the Civil War? Of course not. Chaos is what Corypheus wants, and we must oppose him. Were it up to me, however, I would let Selim fall and Gaspard take the throne. He would see the true threat, not spend his time throwing balls and writing letters. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. What's on the upper levels? Well, off we go then. Well, that's useful. All right, can we go back into the Grand Ballroom for any reason? We can. Prince Ezio Valisti of the House of Val My third husband, Pierre. Look at Lady Cambion's slippers, trimmed with pearls and emeralds, and those buckles. Toss her into the lake, and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster! There's a Tabinta assassin on the loose, and you're concerned about buckles on shoes. Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable, perhaps. This is Halam Sheral Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the great game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this, the smiles, the small talk, it is a dance. And like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become oh. so familiar that the steps may be performed. 
I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. Does anyone have a report on the casualties? No, no, nothing. Okay, well, that sucks. Does anyone have a report on the casualties in the dance? An idea. Josephine, you should invite all of your family to Where has that servant gone? Elves, always shirking their duties. Alright, so we shall leave here. I'm not finding anything useful. Make a lap and then we'll head upstairs. Okay. Yep. On our way up. How has the lyrium tree dropped off so short? so much Wrong side. Really? Oh. What? There must be something here. We are not serving drinks. Bother someone else. in the guest wing, upper room. The one of the garden, statuette. Leave us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do adore the heady blend of power, intrigue, danger, and sex that permeates these events. You seem more comfortable with a Grand Orlesian Ball than I'd have expected. 
I have seen countless such displays in my journeys in the Faith. The powerful have always been the same. Only the costumes change. Have you encountered any trouble with the nobles? The Olesians do not quite know what to make of me. I have kept to myself, for fear of giving them some purchase to cling to. The food and drink are excellent, however, and the servants have been happy to refill my glass. Have you seen anything useful? No, sadly. I do not have the look of one of the elven servants, or I might well be invisible. I wonder how masked men live their lives without ever seeing that servants have an entire society of their own. If you want to find something useful, I would pay attention to what the servants do. I'll be back. And well. The dowager is upset about the soup. Interesting. Good to know. Gaspar is wasting his time. Nothing he does could win over the Council of Heralds now. Hmm. All right. Well, that's useful. So much time for all this jibba jabba. We got all this time. You don't want to be here, stranger. He hasn't made the pickup. It's been ours. He went into the servants' wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. Oh, look, there's blood. Interesting. Did you hear what Gaspar said to Duke Germain? He's off. This way is closed. Please, use the main entrance to the ballroom. Did I see you talking to Duke Cyril de Montfort? Well, well. What's this? Servants are going missing and whatnot. Holy crap. Philippe should have returned hours ago, dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar's vitriol. I can't imagine Gaspard being vitriolic. What's the matter? The Grand Duke bears a grudge against the Council for refusing him the crown. He's threatened death if they refuse him again, collectively and individually, along with their vassals. Nigga. What backwater did you come from? Everyone knows that. Oh, crap. Should we, like, reload? No. I don't like that brand. Nobody should own as many hunting dogs as he does. Been in here, yes. Does anyone really think the war will end tonight? Alright, we dealt with this. Oh, we 
Eat. Oh. Wait, how do we get there? Where's over there? Okay, so we are going upstairs. Here we go. <sighs> My lady! My lady Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. I'm always honored to hear from Her Majesty. Oh, she is the honored one, Inquisitor. Empress Selene is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in her holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. That's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. Cool. Interesting. Did you need something? Interesting. You must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspard and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet other state. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandon the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heel, if you ask me. Good to know.
Loot. Look at all that loot. There we go. I need to get back before I'm missed. Are we ready to move out? Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. Okay. Hmm. Oh. 
Holy crap. I can't leave a boat with another weapon that we all were uh, disposed to not only turn the tide of our war, but every war. The Empire must control it. I do not believe you disagree. She is now a greater threat to our way than anything else. If you and I work together, we can wrest the control away from her. Do not receive yourself that she will be open to negotiation or diplomacy. You know her better than me. You know that's impossible. <laughs> loot. We gotta have it. We gotta loot it all. That's the bell. I should get back to the ballroom. Are all the denouncies here? Maker, I hope not. Gaspar is wasting his time. Nothing he does could win over the Council of Heroes now. You should consider that. But you can burn them all. That would be the second bell. Fashionably late now. Oops. Well, well. What have we here? The leader of the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith. Delivered from the grasp of the fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? If you want something, say it. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the Arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I hope so. I could use another ally here. A sentiment I share, considering recent events. Recent events? Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinta. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinta's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. You left Selene alone. Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough for the moment. It would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? If anything were to happen to Selene, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. I may find the time to try a door or two. Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinta. What comes next will be most exciting. Speak with that lady and Loliana. If it's the will of the maker that gets back at the boat, Maximilian swept me of my feet. 
Another time, perhaps? Mistress Nightingale, what a pity. Yeah. So many crimes of fashion. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. They'll never live this down. Lock. Hmm. Yeah. So many crimes of fashion. Yeah. I should go. Be on you your guard. I want to go to sleep. I always am. No, because it's going on five. You're going to be a crab the rest of the day. Okay. Lady von Blanchard, Duchess of Valmontaigne, Chevalier of the Empire, Hero of the Battle of White River, Patroness of the painter Ambrose Poirier, and second cousin of Princess... Inquisitor, is there something you needed? Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Nothing that stands out. I doubt there's a single person here without ulterior motives. We'll talk later. I await your signal. Why would the Empress invite that elf woman? The game, of course. Celine has some Inquisitor Trevelyan. Slumming even more than usual, I see. You've charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. What brings you to me? I had a question about you, Briala. I'm an elf, Inquisitor. That should tell you everything you need to know about my life. I'm good at what I do. That's all that matters. I will help my people no matter the cost. I've been told you were romantically involved with the Empress. I didn't take you for a gossip monger, Inquisitor. I suppose your spies have already briefed you, so there's no point in pretending. Yes. Celine and I were lovers once, but we've gone our separate ways now. What's your story? How was an elf invited to the Empress's ball as an ambassador? Empress Celine and I have... history. There was a time when I put my spies at her disposal. She knows my qualifications. We had a falling out. Now we are negotiating to determine whether I return to her side in the war. I'm surprised you'd admit that, considering the circumstances. I know it's incriminating. Few harbor more resentment against Celine than I. But if she died after inviting me here, the court would certainly pin her death on me. An elf assassinating the Empress? Alienages across all elf, across all Thedas, would be purged. That cannot happen. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor. Yeah. Inquisitor, to what do we owe this honor? We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. Her Imperial Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. My investigations turned up something interesting. Uh. If the evening ends favorably for the Empress, how does the Inquisition benefit? Her Imperial Majesty brings the might of the Olysian Empire with her friendship. She is also a respected diplomat and world leader. She can forge alliances for you with Rivain, Antiva, the Underfels, and she throws the best parties. I'd like to know more about the negotiations. It seems strange to hold peace talks during a ball. The nobility must do things very differently in Austria. By Orlesian tradition, 
moments of great solemnity are celebrated with revels and feasts, while joyous occasions are given time for reflection and contemplation. We must never forget that life is both bitter and sweet. The ball is an opportunity to celebrate life and hope for the future, while we mourn those killed in the war. What can you tell me about the other parties involved in the talks? Gaspard is a decorated general, much beloved by the Imperial Army, and a legend among chevaliers. He is better suited to the battlefield than the throne, and he would gladly make his palace a war camp. He is also fiendishly charming. Lady Briella has great intentions to change the lives of the elves for the better. Even if her plans could never work and would only provoke hate crimes against alienages, she is an idealist, but her lack of patience could prove disastrous. What is the Empress trying to accomplish with the negotiations? This is her only objective, Inquisitor. Gaspar and Briella are driven by personal ambitions, but those desires threaten the safety of all Orleans. The war must end tonight. We must conclude this to deal with the larger crisis. Good evening. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade. My friend, come in, have a drink. What can I do for you? You've been busily charming the corn, I see. <sighs> Thank you, babe. I'd like to know more about you. All of Ole knows my story. But you, my friend, are far too sensible to me for leisure. The heart of it is simple. I am the rightful heir to the throne of Ole. But my cousin, Celine, is a politician, while I am a man of action. She charmed the Council of Heralds. They gave the crown to her, and while it looks fetching on her, I intend to take it back. So you intend to out-negotiate your cousin? It will take heroic effort on my part, Inquisitor. And a lot of brandy. The talks will take most of the evening. Make her willing, we will emerge triumphant. I have a question about the peace talks. What are you hoping to achieve at the negotiations? I intend to take back what is rightfully mine. Celine stole the crown through politicking, but I am the rightful emperor of Ole. The empire has been mired in intrigue for too long. We need a clear course of action. What action did you have in mind? The Empire is declining. Hmm? We cannot allow Nevara and Ferelden to chip away our borders. I will see Ole return to glory as the strongest nation in Thedas. You intend to return to expansionism? I like to solve problems in the simplest manner. What can you tell me about Celine and Brianna? Brianna may be called ambassador, but she is purely a spy. She works towards some hidden agenda. Elves have no place in politics. Her presence here is suspicious. Celine is a skilled player in the game. She knows how to get her way with a few words and a smile. But the game is a farce. I will prove that a few hundred chevaliers
What will be going on in these negotiations? We will whittle one another down with words until we are bored into agreement. Celine will talk circles around us, that elf will glower and cast suspicion everywhere, and I will get very drunk. Somehow, by the time they stop serving drinks, our war will be ended. Politics. What calamities befall us if they stop serving drinks early? If we're lucky, another war will break out. <laughs> I cannot abide the game, my friend. I prefer my enemies armed and facing me. I like clear winners and losers. Give me a battlefield, Inquisitor. I will show you who the victors are. When I am Emperor, there will be changes. No more of this courtier's nonsense. The nobles may not like it, but after a few lose their heads, they'll fall in line. You didn't extend this invitation out of the goodness of your heart, Grand Duke. As you might have guessed, I'm not the most political man. If the nobles believe the Inquisition supports me, it will help in negotiations. And uh, I take joy in watching the scandalizing. We'll speak later, Duke Gaspard. Another time, friend. Duke Gaspard has made a Inquisitor has asked us to serve more of the ice cream. Going to Did you see Gaspard dance? He and Celine aren't getting anywhere, it's obvious. What was that? Yeah, don't make eye contact. She wouldn't want to speak with any nobody like you. Oh, she isn't out here. Dang. This could be worth checking out. Go ahead. Someone will be held accountable for this. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for.
Oh, okay. Let's put all our uh, equipment on. Or not. Or can we get back in our gear? I don't know. Hmm. Crap, I may have gotten rid of her clothes. Or her armor, anyway.
Love you, babe. There might be something here. Better take a closer look. See when you wake up. This was no servant. What was he doing here? Does this guy seem out of place to anyone else? The crest of the Shalom family. Duke Gaspard will answer for this. Time to have a word with the Duke. Venatory agents! Let's switch back here. this approach. They're organized.
loot. Oops. Okay, where do I go?
Huh. Is that Elven? Odd to find it here. I'll admit, I didn't think the Empress was this sentimental. Fancy meeting you here. Shouldn't you be dancing, Inquisitor? What will the nobility say? Aren't you supposed to be negotiating, Ambassador? Welcome to the Imperial Court, friend. This is our diplomacy at work. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me too. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? Gaspard killed him, I think. The knife has a Shannon crest on the hilt. I knew it. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers. But killing a council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. The Empress needs to know what's going on. You can try to warn her. She won't believe anything from me. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. I would consider such an alliance. We can help each other, Inquisitor. We are both outsiders here, after all. I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. More That's politics and double good. dealing. Is there anyone here who is not corrupt?
Okay, no, seriously, like, where do I gotta go? Head back to the ballroom. We'll handle this. <sighs> well, I did get hosted for 54 viewers at some point tonight, but unfortunately we lost every single one. But that's okay. Interesting. Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? We heard stories of your accomplishments. Some of those might have gone a bit far. I told you, Phoebe. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. <laughs> Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. There must be something here. Yes, take it all.
The reports from the Minratis Ambassador are particularly Inquisitor Travellian. We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? It doesn't matter where you're from, Your Grace. Everyone knows what's happening in the Empire. I... I often forget about the world outside of the Imperial Court. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. I think I can agree with that. Yes. Then you have lifted a terrible burden from my heart, Inquisitor. The world is filled with doubt and uncertainty. Fear rules more hearts than any Empire. I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? If you can't trust the Empress, who can you trust? How far will you go, I wonder, for the sake of that allegiance? It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. If you know something, tell me. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? Oops. Oh, we're at 67 court approval. Though. You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. The Duchess had some interesting things to say. Of that, I have no doubt. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters, where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Selene is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I won't stand by and let her die. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. 
What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. Ah, man. We came here to save Selene. Then you must not only save her life, but also her empire. That means giving her a victory over both Gaspard and Briala. If there truly is proof Gaspard's in league with Corypheus, that would be a start. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the Royal Wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access, and in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. I'd like your opinion of this gathering, lady. It's due to fade, of course. Selene knows that. Hmm. At least it should be amusing. We haven't had such a menagerie at court in living memory. Have you noticed anything odd this evening? Too few Imperial Guards stand in attendance, my dear. A shame. They are so pleasantly decorative. Good evening, milady. Mistress Nightingale, what a pink... Yeah. So many crowns of fashion. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. The things courtiers get up to. Inquisitor, is there something you needed? Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Nothing that stands out. I doubt there's a single person here without ulterior motives. What's our best course of action? Assuming the claims against Gaspard are false, I believe he'd be the strongest ally. But if it means Selene's death, can we make such a choice in good conscience? Brial is an option. One that only complicates matters further. We'll talk later. I await your seat. Are all the Delonsies here? Maker, I hope not. Is there something we may do for you? We do so enjoy speaking with you. We will speak to the Empress on your behalf. I made a fascinating discovery. An elven locket in the Empress's vault. Oh dear. That is very interesting. I'll get Her Majesty. Inquisitor, I regret that we did not have time to speak earlier. No doubt you have questions about many things. I found an elven locket sealed in the palace vault. You must have considered it quite valuable. It was... sentimental. I don't know why I kept it. It was a foolish thing to do. Maybe you kept it because you still care for Briala. I do. It is not wise, but we cannot always be wise. Thank you for coming tonight, Inquisitor. I have business to attend, but I hope we will speak again. Is there something we may do for you? 
We do so enjoy speaking with you. We will speak to the Empress on your behalf. My investigations turned up something interesting. Good evening. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade. Now I gotta spam this button, period. It is always good to see you, my friend. You seem better at making friends among the nobility than I. Well done. I discovered something you might be interested in. We'll speak later, Duke Gaspard. Another time, friend. Mm. Is it true the Inquisitor was headed out Inquisitor? of by Andresti? Inquisitor? Hello? Enjoying the ball? I see many of them. The dancing is so dull, your worship. But the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette. Sorry, Josie. What do you think of helping Briala take control? <laughs> oh. Oh, you... You are... Serious. <laughs> I cannot recommend it. Whatever Brianna offers, she, of anyone here, has the least reason to stay loyal to us. I'll see you later. Another time. Does anyone have a report on the casualties in the day? Is here. Maker, I hope not. My fifth husband felt Mistress to Mistress Nightingale, to what a pleasure to see you again. You look radiant. No one knows why he was up there. The reports from the Minrathis Ambassadoria are particularly disturbing. Where are they getting it from? More importantly, who is selling it? The Carta? Interesting. I had no idea. You must admit, the work done in Cumberland is a revolution. I have yet to see the device.
servant gone. Elves, always shirking their duties. Did you need something? My apologies. I didn't mean to bother you. Gentlemen. Inquisitor. Did I hear correctly? If you're interested in bringing the Templars to heal, you may have found an ally. Didn't you recruit them for the rank and file of your Inquisition? Someone had to remind them, sternly, of their duty. A sensible solution. I will get in touch with your Lady Nightingale. I have assets that might benefit your cause. Gentlemen. Heck yeah. We will be in touch. Good evening. Inquisitor, are you enjoying the ball? This is your first presentation at court, is it not? I am Lady Marcelette, court historian to Her Imperial Majesty. What exactly does a court historian do? I am responsible for the historical records of the court. I maintain our library and record all official proceedings. Are you here to chronicle the events of the evening for posterity? Oh, yes! This is a momentous occasion. The first meeting between the Grand Duke and Her Majesty since the war began. Even if, make up forbid, the talks should fail, it is an important moment in the history of the Empire. Ugh. Dropping my, uh, my little mic piece there. That should be better. Good evening, Lady Marcellette. Another time, perhaps. Let's see.
interesting. Give me a second, guys. I sent him down to the cellar for more wine hours ago. Germain bore his name. This door is sealed for the evening. Please move along. Hmm. Waste of time. Just gossip. Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. Are curious. Have you noticed anything strange this evening? My niece, Rorian, hasn't spoken to me all evening. That's not like her. What can you tell me about the Civil War? If you are hoping for insight, you've come to the wrong man. It's war. It is brutal, and terrible, and sometimes necessary. There's nothing more to say. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspar. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life, if not fight for his destiny? Another time, my lord. Okay. More scandal. We are not serving drinks. Bother someone else. We get to come back.
Head back to the ballroom. We land at this. all the long things here. Maker, I hope not. Lady Nightingale makes me nervous. Gaspar is wasting his time. In the here? Alright, we gotta go to the ring. Uh, 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 royal ring. Wing blew up. So off we shall go. Not to mention. We might... Oh, we won't pay a quick visit to uh, Liliana yet. There might be something here. Better take a closer look. Wow. Are we going to sneak around to look through the Empress's unmentionables now? Just how drunk are you, boss? <laughs> Get back! Hello? 
Does anyone dare? Somebody. Any book? Yeah, boop, baby, boop. Oh, thank you. Are you all right? I'm... I, I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briella told you to come to this wing of the palace. Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian? It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Chiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. If there's a reason you distrust Briala, I want to hear it. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. She probably did send you to your death. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. There we go. What happened here? You painted Olesian assholes! When I get out of this, I'll butcher you like the pigs you are!
Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my bait. I had a feeling you were mixed up in all this. Such a pity. You could almost be our legion, if you were just a little quicker. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Selene's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. Your or Legion royalty? Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas, and Corypheus will save me. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. You don't have to go through with this, Florian. There's still time to turn back. Oh, my dear Inquisitor, you are so naive. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Selene myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the master. Epic die. Damn, we can't change gear. We're stuck in this bullshit. Who the hell is that?
and that was that. Let's try this one again, guys, because, uh, well, we forgot to gear up. Wow, look at that. We didn't even have a weapon, guys. Oh, crap, nugget. Most likely to be attacked, huh? Navarak, you got a point. What are we doing over here?
go there. And do that. Or should we go here? Critical I saw was amazing. We're going this next and getting rid of Caltrops. That's the plan. Alright, so let's stop.